Dr. Andrew Von Plitt here with andrewplitt.com. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you movement 7 of the Taiji 10 form in detail from several different angles. If you haven't learned the previous moves of this form, I encourage you to go back and watch those videos, learn the previous moves that lead up to this one. Those videos are available for free on my channel. And after you've learned the preceding movements of this form, come back to this video to learn this movement. As usual, I'm going to demonstrate this movement from several different angles, and I'm also going to be incorporating a mirror image view in this video so that you can see the front view from a mirror image so that when I say uh, move your left hand, it will look like I'm moving my right, but that will be an, a mirror image of what you should be doing if you're following along at home. So hopefully that will make it easier to learn this movement. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Let's go and get started. The important thing to remember about this movement is that you don't have to do an extremely high kick with it. You can do the level that I'm doing. If you can do higher, you can kick higher or you can kick lower, whatever is most comfortable and most safe for you. Just like the previous movement in this form, this is a really great exercise for balance. The previous movement, we were just bringing the knee up. With this one, we're bringing the knee up and then extending the leg. So it requires more strength in the legs and it requires more awareness, body alignment, and stability as you're doing this movement. The footwork for this movement is essentially the same as what we did in the last movement. We're basically just shifting the weight to one leg, picking up the other leg, setting that foot down, shifting the weight, and picking up the first leg. So it's very straightforward footwork, and let's just go ahead and get into the movement, and we'll talk about the details as we go. As always, when I demonstrate these movements, I'm going to begin as if I had started the form facing south. To my right would be west, to my left would be east. So our last movement left us rooted in the right leg, left leg was brought up, left hand was up, right hand was down. From here, you're just gonna step down with the left foot and you're gonna set it down so that it's facing off to the southeast. So it's not facing directly forward. It's not facing, of course, all the way to the east. It's in between those two. So about a 45 degree angle from facing straight forward. You're gonna shift your root into that leg. Then you're gonna pick up the right leg, bringing the knee up. Then you're going to extend the leg, pushing out with the heel, bend that leg, and then set it back down, touching with the toes, setting the heel down, and shifting the weight to that leg. Now, when you set it down, it's going right back to where it was before facing off to the southwest. Then you shift the root to that leg. Then you're gonna pick up the left leg, bringing the knee up, extend the leg, pushing out with the heel, and then bend the leg. And we're just gonna stop there for now. So as you can see, when you do these kicks, you're not doing them directly to the south. You're not doing them to the sides. You're doing them at those 45s as well. So the one foot that you're rooted in is facing off to the 45 over here. When you do the kick, it's gonna to be to the 45 over here. So you kick this way, you kick that way. Now we're gonna forget about the legs and just focus on the hands. So our last movement left is here. From here, just drop that leg for now and we're gonna forget about the legs. Drop the left hand down. The hands scoop toward one another. The palms start to turn palm up here. Either hand can go on top. You can go left on top or right on top. And the hands scoop up towards you. They start to turn out and then they separate, leading with the edge of the hand coming out, one hand going to this southwest corner, this hand going not completely to the east, but back a little bit closer to the north than directly east. So not quite northeast, but just back toward the north a little bit. That's where you extend. Don't lock the elbows, don't raise the shoulders, keep the shoulders relaxed, drop the elbows, and just extend the arms out. From here, the arms are gonna drop down, come back to the middle, scoop up, Palms start to come toward you. They're gonna to turn out, lead out with the edge of the hand, reach out, this time going to the southeast with the front hand or your left hand, and the right hand goes back, not completely to the east, not all the way back to the north, just slightly toward the north from the east direction. So now let's put it all together. From our last movement, rooted in the right leg, right hand palm down, fingers facing forward, facing to the south, and bring my left knee up, my left hand up. From here, and drop the left side down, step down with the left foot, setting it down so it faces to the southeast. I shift to the left leg, arms start to scoop in. As they come up, they bring the knee of the right leg up. They're gonna turn out and slide off and push out as I push out with the right heel. Bend the right leg, drop the arms, drop the right leg. Shift to the right, hands scoop toward one another. As they come up, they bring up the left leg. Everything comes up together, hands rotate out and extend, leading with the edges of the hand, left heel coming out, then bend the left leg, and we're gonna pause there for now. 
from our last movement. Drop the left leg down, the left hand goes down at the same time. Scoop the arms. As they come up, bring up the right knee. Push out with the edges of the hands as you push out with the right heel. Bend the right leg. Relax the arms down, dropping the right leg at the same time. Shift to the right leg. Scoop. Bring everything up together. Left leg comes up. Hands slide off and push out with the edges. Push out with the left heel. Bend the left leg and just pause there for now. As always, when I demonstrate these movements, I'm going to begin as if I'd started the form facing south. To my right would be west, to my left would be east. So our last movement left us rooted in the right leg. Left leg was brought up. Left hand was up. Right hand was down. From here, you're just going to step down with the left foot. And you're going to set it down so that it's facing off to the southeast. So it's not facing directly forward. It's not facing, of course, all the way to the east. It's in between those two. So about a 45 degree angle from facing straight forward. You're going to shift your root into that leg. Then you're going to pick up the right leg, bringing the knee up. Then you're going to extend the leg, pushing out with the heel. Bend that leg and then set it back down, touching with the toes, setting the heel down, and shifting the weight to that leg. Now, when you set it down, it's going right back to where it was before, facing off to the southwest. Then you shift the root to that leg, then you're gonna pick up the left leg, bringing the knee up, extend the leg, pushing out with the heel, and then bend the leg, and we're just gonna stop there for now. So as you can see, when you do these kicks, you're not doing them directly to the south, you're not doing them to the sides, you're doing them at those 45s as well. So the one foot that you're rooted in is facing off to the 45 over here. When you do the kick, it's gonna to be to the 45 over here. So you kick this way, you kick that way. And now we're gonna forget about the legs and just focus on the hands. So our last movement left is here. From here, just drop that leg for now, and we're gonna forget about the legs. Drop the left hand down. The hands scoop toward one another. The palms start to turn palm up here. Either hand can go on top. You can go left on top or right on top. And the hands scoop up towards you. They start to turn out, and then they separate, leading with the edge of the hand coming out. One hand going to this southwest corner, this hand going not completely to the east, but back a little bit closer to the north than directly east. So not quite northeast, but just back toward the north a little bit. That's where you extend. Don't lock the elbows, don't raise the shoulders, keep the shoulders relaxed, drop the elbows, and just extend the arms out. From here, the arms are gonna drop down, come back to the middle, scoop up, Palms start to come toward you. They're gonna turn out, lead out with the edge of the hand, reach out, this time going to the southeast with the front hand or your left hand, and the right hand goes back, not completely to the east, not all the way back to the north, just slightly toward the north from the east direction. So now let's put it all together. From our last movement, rooted in the right leg, right hand palm down, fingers facing forward, facing to the south, then bring my left knee up, my left hand up. From here, I drop the left side down, step down with the left foot, setting it down so it faces to the southeast. I shift to the left leg, arms start to scoop in. As they come up, they bring the knee of the right leg up. They're going to turn out and slide off and push out as I push out with the right heel. Bend the right leg, drop the arms, drop the right leg. Shift to the right, hands scoop toward one another. As they come up, they bring up the left leg. Everything comes up together, hands rotate out and extend, leading with the edges of the hand, left heel coming out, then bend the left leg, and we're going to pause there for now. From our last movement, drop the left leg down, the left hand goes down at the same time. Scoop the arms. As they come up, bring up the right knee. Push out with the edges of the hands as you push out with the right heel. Bend the right leg. Relax the arms down dropping the right leg at the same time, shift to the right leg, scoop, bring everything up together, left leg comes up, hands slide off and push out with the edges, push out with the left heel. Bend the left leg and just pause there for now. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this movement as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is now south for me, directly towards you would be west and away from you is east. Our last movement left us rooted in the right leg, left leg was up, left hand was up, right hand down. Drop the left side down, Scoop with the hands, shifting to the left leg. Come up with the knee of the right leg and kick out with the right heel, reaching out with the right hand. Drop the right leg, bring the hands down. Shift to the right leg, bring everything up. Left knee comes up, 
kick out with the left heel, reaching out with the left hand. Bend the left leg and pause there for now. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this movement as if I had started the form facing away from you. So directly away is south, this is west, this is east. Our last movement, left is shifted to the right leg, left knee was up, left arm was up, right hand was down. Step down with the left leg, drop the left hand, shift the left leg, bring up the right leg, extend the right leg, pushing out with the arms, bend the right leg, step down with the right leg, shift to the right leg, bringing up the left knee, kick out with the left heel as you extend the arms, and bend the left knee. Now I'm gonna demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way, so this is now south, away from you is west, and directly towards you would be east. Our last movement of the form, left us rooted in the right leg, facing to the south, left knee was up, right hand was down, and left hand was up. Drop the left side down, shift to the left leg, bring up the right knee, kick out with the right heel. Bend the right leg, step down with the left, or with the right leg rather, shift to the right leg and bring up the left knee, kick out with the left heel, bend the left leg. As you can see, this is pretty straightforward as far as the movements go. You're scooping with the arms, pushing out with the arms as you kick, switching sides, and kicking. So there's not a whole lot of, of complex movement in this. The biggest challenge to this movement is the balance, the strength of the leg as you're extending out, and then kind of the awareness and space of where your arms are going. Remember, as you do this movement, you don't have to kick super high. As you can see, I'm kicking at a fairly medium level with this. If you can kick higher, that's great or if it's safer or easier for you, you can kick much lower. When you do this movement, you can bring the knee up as high as is comfortable and kick out as high as is comfortable, even if it's down here, that's fine. Switch up and kick out. So if that's what's safer for you, listen to your body, listen to what's safe, listen to how your body reacts to this movement and see what height level of kicking is right for you. The other thing to be aware of as you do this movement is you want the hands at about the same height, front and back. So you wouldn't want to do this movement with the hands super offset. You want them about shoulder level. You wouldn't want them both dropped really far or up really high. So try to keep them right about shoulder level as you extend out. If they're off a little bit, that's not terrible. Try to get them as even as possible, but you want them around shoulder height and about the same level. The next thing to be aware of in this movement is you don't want to lock out the leg that's supporting you. You want a slight bend in that knee. So you don't push it back and lock it out of the way before you do the kick. You keep a slight bend in it. You keep that same structure through that leg as you're doing the kick, as you would do with any other part of Tai Chi. Keep your alignment good as you go through this movement. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn this movement with me today. I hope you got a lot out of this video and I hope this video was easy to follow along with if you're learning this movement for the first time or if you're just reviewing this movement. If you enjoyed this video or if you did learn something from it, if you got something out of it, Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also consider becoming a supporting member for this channel to help ensure more videos like this will be made available in the future. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe and healthy out there, and as always, thank you for watching.